And we are back with part two of chapter one of Tell Me Why. We're on a boat. Oh, I'm going to talk incessantly because I didn't talk at all in the previous episode. So now you get to hear my voice. And trust me, my voice is not something you want to hear. You probably should be watching this video. Let's go I'll walk up to Allison and see what she has to say. I didn't listen to her phone conversation at all. I probably missed some important plot points because I decided to talk to that old dude instead. Um, you know, I guess we better leave. Say, this is a really beautiful game. I think I like this. The aesthetic here is a little bit less kind of sketchy imagery than Life is Strange. It's a little bit more naturalistic. I think that's actually kind of the way to go for this because um, they're not taking that kind of arty angle. It already didn't really work that well in Life is Strange 2, so I'm glad they've kind of subtly shifted their aesthetic a bit and made this, which looks really neat to me. video games in case you haven't noticed. You can tell he's an Alaskan native because he's like, well, native, you know, not native in that sense, you know what I mean. You can tell he grew up in Alaska because He's out in the winter, not wearing gloves, not wearing a hat. I mean, I'm from a snowy place and I still wear a hat and gloves in this kind of weather. I would, probably wouldn't wear a very thick coat though. I'm fine with usually just a sweater and a windbreaker. I don't usually need a winter coat until it's down to like wow. minus five-ish. It's basically exactly like I remember it, only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. No, I want to explore. Let me explore. Let me make her impatient. Marianne always crowd. spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Oh, you can't run in this game. It's not like Life is Strange 2 where you can jog. Let me jog. No, I'd have to walk so slowly. Speed up! That's me singing. I actually can't sing. Actually, actually, actually sort of can't sing. Um, not super duper well, but I have some musical training. So anybody who's got some musical training can kind hey, of sing. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. I say that, but then I'm going off to the barn or the garage. I don't know what that is. 
I don't even actually really know what a barn is. I grew up near a farm. Near farm. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, at least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Okay, well, we need to better shed. alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. Oh, we can go inside the shed. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking about that. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Ugh. Add it to the shopping list. That was kind of fun. Diversion, if you will. Let's see what's out here. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Well, I'm totally wasting time now. I'm not doing the plot. I'm just looking for stuff I can interact with. That is a don't nod way. No, you're right. Oh, let me. Why oh, don't you let me? Let me explore. Uh, mm -hmm. A bench. I gotta say, they really nailed the scenery with this game. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. Should we go in the back? Without even trying the front? This will shock you, but it's locked. This will shock you, but most people try the front door first. I'm slowly irritating my sister. It's great. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. Yeah, so she could keep an eye on us from the porch. She didn't trust anyone with us. Not completely. Not even Eddie. Yeah, but it was still a good memory. See? You do have some good memories with Uncle Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I almost forgot how calm it was here. From far enough away. Everything looks peaceful. It's totally different from when we were kids. How so? Pretty much looks the same to me. When I was a kid, I never stopped long enough to take it in. Now, I can't imagine walking by without stopping and staring. Let's hope we find some buyers who feel the same way. beavers too bad a picture of him would have helped with the sale yeah city people love cute furry animals teeming with wildlife 
but not the kind that eats the insulation. Situated comfortably in the ass of the world, solicitors will never come knocking. In fact, no one will ever come at all. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. Okay. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Okay, we're gonna try this other back door. Totally wasting the viewer's time right now, but that's okay. Ugh, it's locked. Seriously? Why haven't you checked the front door? Because true adventurers never walk a straight line. Did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. Yeah, I smoked the Fireweed. It's in the name. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Like the window. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't ex- <sighs> The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Ice King's for adventure time. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Do you need a hand with that? <clears throat> no, it should be fine. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Hey, it's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. 
Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. I'm coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. So I love that this just drops a supernatural thing. Like it's totally casual out of nowhere. They're like, oh yeah, we totally had this magical bond back in the day. No biggie. Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Is there any kind of inventory in this game? How does this work, exactly? Pause menu, book of goblins. I uh, just kind of shows inventory All in the this top for right. a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Alright, let's go see if the... Not sheep, but see if the shovel's good for anything. And then we'll try getting in. I'm just curious to see if there's an alternate method of playing around. Hopefully Mother Nature holds off on the blizzards until after we sell the house. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. How would squatters even get up here? You could abandon a building for like 20 years. Nobody's gonna settle down on one of these. Uh, old barns or whatever. Screws. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? 
Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty, I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Did I get a collectible? I did. The Mad Hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. Not even Pierce. I don't know who Pierce is. That's just someone I made up. Then left again after the goblins. Could be Pierce Brosnan. No, it could be. Let's grab another collectible. Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Moldy Moose. How do I let me turn it and see its butt? It's not very useful. Nope, it was on the right. My bad. I'm going to dead ends on purpose just to explore. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Well, I guess I don't call Pass her. the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters.
over her sister, you dumbass. Coming. Jeez. Why are you such a dill? Are you okay? But I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right, let's walk around, look at stuff. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Anything interesting here? We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. So now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. There are so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Ew. Don't say that about your mom. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. Well, keep up the car talk and you'll fit right in around here. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. How you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but Everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? It's not as hard as I thought, but then Fireweed was all about learning how to regulate your emotional response to stress. And that's working. I think it helps to focus on the fact that we're here to let it go. Well, I don't think I can let it go until it's actually gone. Right striked in the... 
I don't know what body part ends with O. Best mom. Toe. <laughs> you think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Sponsorized by the local goblins. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Magic. Ooh, look, magic down here. Um, all right, we're gonna take a pause here, and then when we come After back... all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Okay, we're gonna take a short break, and then we'll come back with part three. Yay!